Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to write down an error interval for a number rounded off to one decimal place. So let's go straight into the two examples here. So example one, write down the error interval for the number 6.2 rounded to one decimal place. So since our number's been rounded off to one DP, this means our scale was increasing by 0 0.1 each time. So what I'm going to do then is just write 6.2 down in the centre of my page and I'm going to write down the number above 6.2 on my scale which was 6.3 so I've just added 0 0.1 onto 6.2 and the number before 6.2 on the scale was 6.1 so again I've just taken 0 0.1 off. So to get my error interval then I just need to go halfway between 6.1 and 6.2 so halfway between these two numbers will be 6.15. If you're having trouble with this, just add the two numbers up and then divide the answer by 2. Or if you notice as well, it's just putting a 5 on the end of this number. And then halfway between 6.2 and 6.3 would be 6.25. So again, if you notice, I've just put a 5 on the end of that number. Or you can add the two numbers up and divide by 2 again. So this is the lowest number that the number could be, which is the lower bound, and this is the highest number that the number could be, which is called the upper bound. So we use these to write down our error interval. So we write our lower bound first, 6.15. Then you put a less than or equal to sign. Then you need to put a letter in the middle. So the letter I'm going to put in the middle is the letter N, because it was just a number. It usually tells you what the letter is when you have a question in a test. Then you put a less than sign and then you put the upper bound at the end. So let's have a look at the second example. So we've got to write down the error interval for the number 12.7 rounded to one decimal place. So again, since it's been rounded off to one decimal place, this means our scale is going up in 0 0.1s again. So if we copy 12.7 down, add 0 0.1 to this number gives us 12.8. Take 0 0.1 off, that gives us 12.6. So we just need to find our halfway numbers. So halfway between 12.6 and 12.7 will be 12.65. Nice, I've just put a 5 on the end again. And then halfway between 12.7 and 12.8 is 12.75 so this is our lower bound this is our upper bound so we use these to write our error interval down so we put the lower bound first then we put the letter n in the middle then we put another less than sign and then we put the upper bound at the end so if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.